So now we're going to start thinking about the aux tank that we're going to put in. I'm going to take some measurements around the perimeter of the bay that the tank's going to go into. You can see it's the one right next to the aileron bell crank, outside of the bell crank, right? So it's the fourth bay in, one, two, three, four. I've already measured it, and I know that I've got about a quarter inch here, a quarter inch here, about one inch here, and I'm going to do about three quarters of an inch at the front, from the front line of rivets back to form that edge. So now that I've got this box drawn out, I, I don't think this plastic is going to be quite enough to prevent scratching. Um, while I'm cutting this out, I'm going to be using a jigsaw, which will be sliding along the top here. So I'm going to cover the edges with masking tape, and then I'll start by drilling a hole uh, as a starting point for the jigsaw blade. And then we'll have uh, a hole at each corner. Um, so the corner will be rounded, and the jigsaw will be able to get all the way around. After lots of filing and sanding, I've uh, got this opening cut out for the aux tank. And then I decided the next thing to do would be to cut the filler hole. So I used the old borrow the wife's lipstick transfer medium method and uh, set the tank in where I wanted it. And that's where the filler hole is going to be cut. I'm setting the wing up on some Costco boxes so that I can start drilling and working on this, this filler hole. For starters, I used a compass to define more clearly the outline of where I want the hole to be. And then I'm going to start drilling holes around the circumference, on the inside of the circumference, obviously, until I can just about remove this hole and then uh, file the rest of it out. Okay, so after about 20 minutes of drilling and filing, let's see if it fits. Oh, yeah. See the filler neck sticking through the hole right now? Snug as a bug. That is so satisfying. So now that we've got our filler neck hole cut, we're going to start working on the straps for the tank. Now uh, we've got uh, three straps, one that goes along the top of the wing and two that go along the bottom of the wing. We start by choosing the rivets we're going to drill out. Now on the last wing I've made a mistake and then figured out that what I need to do is drill out the fourth rivet in from the sides and then the center one on the wing bottom. You can see I've marked those with an X. And likewise, it's going to be the same thing at the front of the wing. So once we get those drilled out, the next step is going to be to put the tank in on top of some spacers, approximately a distance from the top of the wing skin that we want. So I have some leftover stringer material that I've wrapped with tape that I'm going to use as my uh, spacer. I just line these up span-wise. The tank sets on them nicely and it doesn't scratch anything up. I put the filler uh, through the filler hole to locate the tank. And underneath this sets a strap that I will have pre-bent to the uh, length of the tank. I'll set that up and then I'll mark where I need to cut it off. The strap that goes along the wing top is, is not attached to any... Uh, tighteners. So it's simple. You just drill the holes and bolt it in. So I gave myself pilot holes with a number 40 bit and then finished drilling them out with a number 30 and then uh, opened up the holes for the 316th bolt initially with a number 14 I think, just slightly smaller than 316 and then I used a 316th reamer to finish uh, getting them to exact size. 
So with our tank sitting right side up, spout up, we're going to take the fuel strap, measure a 10 inch section from the front, put that at the front corner, make sure we've got plenty in the back. If you measure the height of your front spar and your rear spar, that's how much as a minimum you need to start off with hanging off the end of your tank. And then here it's really simple. You just put it in the middle of the tank and bend the corners down. So I've got my spacers in the bay here. I'm putting my tank strap in the center in the correct orientation. I put tape over this uh, to give me something nicer to mark on as I mark through the, through the bolt hole once I got it in position. I'm gonna set the tank in on top of it, like so and get it positioned where I want it. The filler spout in the hole that I cut right here. There we go. And line it up how I want to sit in the bay. And I know now my tank strap is going to sit. We already bent it, so it's coming up where it needs to. And it's going to overlay the hole that I'm going to mark. You can see I can't get around to mark the back side of this. Plus, because I have this lip at the, uh, on the front of the top skin, it's not laying against where the, uh, the bolt hole is. So what I'm going to do initially is just draw a line below the lip enough that I know I'll be able to cut it off and get it flush against that back hole. So I've got the first strap in and I put some felt tape on here. I made it a little thicker at this end just to give the tank a little bit, uh, just an extra millimeter of clearance at this end just because I wasn't totally happy with the way uh, I set it up. Uh, that'll be good enough. So now I've got that I've got this first strap in. I pre-drilled the second two straps at one end and those are bolted in and they're left full length. Um, I haven't done anything to the other end. I'm going to put the tank in and then use the position of the tank to determine where the first bend and these second and third straps is going to be. So I've made the second strap and as you can see this top section is really short here. Uh, and the bottom one could be a little shorter. Uh, this actually worked. The bottom one in this in this case is two and three quarters inches long. And this little top section, I haven't measured it, but it's just about an inch and a quarter, maybe an inch and a half. Uh, I'm gonna try to make the bottom one on this next set a little shorter, about two inches. And then that'll make this a little longer and uh, it'll be a little easier to get it centered and, and bring all these rivets a little farther from the, the corner. So I'll record how I do the second one, uh, just so you can see that process. I want this lower strap piece to be about two to two and a quarter. I'm going to cut the total length to four and a quarter and that should get me pretty close once I bend it up.
So I cut this end of the strap down to five inches so I could fit it into the uh, bay here. And I don't know if you can see it, but I've got the tensioning uh, set up in place with a piece of tape over the strap so I can mark where that top tension bar hits the strap. And that's where I'm going to bend the uh, bend the strap into a loop. This will be I'm holding the uh, uh, tensioner at full ex full extension, so this will be the loosest the strap can get. So I'll mark it, and then I'll bend it and rivet it into position. Hey, we've got the straps in place. The tank is strapped in in position, and I, I like the way it's laid out at the moment. Um, you know, my craftsmanship is probably marginal, but I think it'll get the job done. I'm sure you'll do a nicer job on yours. A couple things to consider are you want to make sure when you've got this thing settled in that obviously in the first place it's not resting against any of the wing skins. Uh, the second thing is you want to make sure um, that your drain port here, uh, the flange, does not stick above the skin because you're going to want the, uh, uh, the drain itself to be pretty close to flush or slightly beyond. But, but keep this down. You can lay a straight edge across the ribs here. Just make sure this stays, stays below it. Uh, the next thing to consider is your exit port here. Um, you know, you get to decide where you want that to come out. For me, I have it in front of this flange, so I don't have to modify this at all. Uh, and that, that also pushes the tank slightly farther forward, which gives me more room to work in here. Um, and it'll also have a very, very minor effect on, uh, on CG, moving the CG forward, because, you know, there's an FCG boogeyman out there um, that I'm trying to avoid. That's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward. I got the felt on, and we're ready to start looking at... Uh, Plumbing.